Hello friends, welcome to all of you in official Excel YouTube learning channel of Mass Training and Solution. My name is Rashid Rizvi. Today I'll teach you how to round numbers to the nearest multiple of 10 or 100 or 1000. This is one biggest pain area for users to round off numbers to the multiple of 10 or thousands or 100, either it's upper nearest or lower nearest. This can be done in very easy way without writing nested function or some other functions. Let us see how to achieve this in a very simple way. Let's proceed for it. Let us see example. First I will open one worksheet where I have some data, nothing but numbers. So these are numbers, nothing but salary, where I want to round these numbers to the nearest upper multiple of 10 or it can be nearest lower multiple of 10. Normally I have seen people are using a lot of nested if or some other function for this. But this can be done in a very easy way. I will show you how it is. I just put a column heading. Heading can be anything. Suppose I say nearest nearest I mean upper nearest multiple of 10 multiple of 10 round it to just giving you a heading for your clarity nothing else fine I just put this color so heading is rounded to upper nearest multiple of 10 I write function equal to round up because we are going to round to the upper nearest multiple of 10 so upper nearest multiple we have to force number to go to the upper nearest so that is round up I give cell address comma minus 1 here the meaning of minus 1 is 1 0 if you want multiple of 10 it's minus 1 if you want multiple of 100 it's minus 2 multiple of 1000 it's minus 3 and so on I close bracket so this number is 21875 so upper nearest multiple multiple of 10 of this number is 21880 if I hit enter you can see this number is rounded to upper nearest multiple of 10 that is 21880 if I copy this formula down, you see first number, it's rounded to upper nearest multiple of 10. If you see second number, 17,500, not rounded, it's unchanged because it's already multiple of 10. Why the first number is rounded? Because first number is not multiple of 10, that's why it is rounded to the upper nearest multiple of 10 in the case of second number it's already a multiple of 10 so will unchange third number again same I mean 7000 again multiple of 10 fourth number 12250 is again unchanged because it's again multiple of 10 again next number 21000 will unchanged but if you come to this number I just highlight it. This number is changed. I mean rounded to upper nearest multiple of 10. So 12,425 upper nearest multiple of 10 is 12,430. And the same number, next is same number, again rounded to the upper nearest multiple of 10. These three numbers you can see. Just I highlight it. For reference, in fact, 
these four numbers are rounded to upper nearest multiple of 10 last two numbers are unchanged no last one is second last is unchanged but the last one is again rounded to upper nearest multiple of 10 so these colored figures are rounded to the nearest multiple of 10 the remain are already multiple of 10 so not rounded this is called pushing number to the upper nearest multiple of 10 similar in similar way similar fashions if you want to push number to the lower nearest multiple of 10 so rounded to i say lower lower nearest multiple of 10 the funda is same the function name would change function name is round down here the function name is round down earlier function name was round up here it is round down so if i say round down and this cell address this comma minus one this will push this number to the lower nearest multiple of 10 you can see if i hit enter key you can see 12 8 7 0 so the nearest a lower nearest multiple of 10 of this number is 21870 if i copy it down i can just show you i will highlight this into some different color so see I just say some different color so this number is highlighted so the upper I mean nearest multiple of 10 of this number is 12880 and lower nearest multiple of 10 of this is 12870 this number is unchanged second number is unchanged because it's already multiple of 10 third is unchanged fourth is unchanged fifth is unchanged but again if you say next number sixth number and seven eight these numbers are rounded to the lower lower multiple of 10 you can see i have changed some color with some color and again the last number is also rounded to the lower lower multiple of 10 i mean it uh, it was a uh, 14875 it is now 14870 because lower nearest multiple of 10 of 14875 is 14870 so while explaining you round up i hide this you can see you can get easily I have highlighted with some color these are highlighted with some color while explaining you lower nearest multiple of 10 I hide this column to give you more clarity you can see these numbers are rounded to the lower nearest multiple of 10 I just show both the formulas now how to show formula control a smart code to give you more clarity this is I mean these are formulas for your reference yellow color is round up green is round down so minus 1 stands for 110 minus 2 stands for 120 minus 3 stands for 130 and so on so you can push number to the upper nearest multiple of 10 or 100 or thousands same way you can push to the lowest lower nearest of lower nearest or multiple of 10 multiple of 100 or multiple of thousand and so on we can use this minus one funda in a round function also i just say one function round round sorry and just say round 
how it works with round functions what is the fundamental part of round functions round functions works i mean if it is a five or above goes to the upper nearest otherwise lower nearest so i am just saying equal to round okay and then i give the cell address comma then i say minus one if i say minus one now see numbers are rounded i hide these two columns to explain you okay now you see 12875 by default rounded to 21 i mean 21875 rounded to 21880 because 21875 last 75 is more than above of 50 so that is why this function pushes this to the upper upper multiple upper nearest multiple of 10 if you see next number unchanged because it's already multiple of 10 third number is unchanged fourth is unchanged fifth is unchanged if you say next one it is now uh, so 12 425 it is it is just say here minus 1 it is uh, it has been pushes to 12 430 because upper i mean this last last is what after 2 the last uh, digit is 5 so the 5 or more so round function works if 5 or more pushes to upper otherwise lower so here pushes to upper and again next example you see here so these all yellow color cells if you notice these all numbers are uh, pushes to the upper nearest multiple of 10 because in these all yellow color cells numbers last digit is 5 if you make it less than 5 let's make it the first figure 12 21875 as 74 just for your clarity see it become 70 earlier it was earlier it was i say endo it was 80 the moment the last digit i change as 4 now last digit is a, a less than 5 so it is not going to the upper nearest by default going to the lowest lower nearest multiple of 10 so this is how round function works i and hide all columns now i go to format and i just and hide all columns you know how to unhide columns so i say unhide columns and i just show all formulas control a smart code to give you more better view you can see i have used a round up round down and round functions round up pushes number forcefully to the upper nearest round down to the lower nearest round functions pushes as per the situation if number last a uh, digit of number if it is 5 or more it goes to the upper nearest otherwise lower nearest this is how round function works the main thing here is how to use this negative numbers in round functions minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on as i said minus 1 stands for 1 10 minus 2 it stand, stands for i mean uh, 1 20 minus 3 stands for 1 30 and so on this is how round function works with negative numbers no need to use nested function for this thanks for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe you can recommend to your friends also for more detail you can browse my websites you can go and see more detail there more informations there you can download plenty of stuffs uh there i mean
a material there thanks thank you very much